Hey there, so today we have another review, and this is uh, Wood Aged Bitches Brew. So you guys might remember if you liked Dogfish early on or just uh, were into craft beer, they had the 750s of Bitches Brew, which is shout out to Miles Davis. And this is Wood Aged version, but it's not simply that. So it's three parts Wood Aged Bitches Brew in oak, and then one part Pige, which is a um, honey ale that they produce uh, that is Asian Palo Santo, and then they put that in there. So uh, let's dig into it. So first off, it just straight up looks like <laughs> Imperial Stout. It is very dark and comes with a beautiful dark brown head to it. Let's get the aroma on this one. Quite fruity. I get a lot of grape character prune. Um, it has uh, good amounts of uh, a little bit of spice, kind of this like licorice anise thing, but smells generally like an Imperial Stout, but on the fruitier edge. Cheers. Mm -hmm. So it leans on that fruity edge. Um, if you like your more kind of like dark fruit, kind of grape, prune, raisiny kind of imperial styles, this is uh, there for you. It, it is so forward fruity for an imperial style. I could imagine maybe there's another beer blend in here that's like one of the four parts. And it just has like a kind of light kind of balance, kind of light sweetness to it. It has a little bit of caramel character. This beer really allows the fruit character to develop until you're hit in with the Imperial Stout behind it, which is big punches of roast, prune, um, almost like a, a, a dark kind of like a red wine character to it. Uh, the oak is, or the wood in general, is just completely hidden, completely blind. I could not tell you that this beer sat in wood. Granted, our palates are very much messed up by how American brewing deals with wood aging because wood aging generally is bourbon barrels and bourbon barrels just like punch you over the face with um, how the wood is treated and how much bourbon is in beer and those caramelized sugars from uh, charring the oak. Uh, this one has subtle tones of wood possibly, but I couldn't tell you uh, blindly that that was in there. So let's just say it's not there because that's how I perceive it. Just generally, a fruity, lightly sweet, imperial stout, strong amounts of fruit character, but it does have that balance of like roast bitterness and that kind of like intensity of um, almost like like char character that you get some from some uh, roast and malt. So it is um, mostly just imperial stout to me. Um, check out this one if you got guys like that. As for rating, let's go with a quite nice. It's different from Imperial Stouts. It really is just so fruit forward compared to a lot of uh, Imperial Stouts, almost as if they threw in some great must into there. So that's really the theme that I'm getting off of this one. Um, this is quite nice. I really do enjoy it. Uh, let's go with a 91 on this one. This is Wood Age Bitches Brew. Doesn't really quite sell what it is, as in what it's advertised to be, this blend, the wood, blah, blah, blah. But let's just talk about the beer right here. And it's delicious beer. Muscle next time, guys. Cheers. Let me know what you think. Later. Cheers.